Hi, it's Andy Gilman from Washington, D.C. A recent article in the Wall Street Journal was critical of a pharmaceutical company and the spokesperson it had retained. The article was entitled, A Celebrity Patient's Backing Turns Sour for Drug Company. Part of the article talked about how this celebrity had been media trained. It basically alleged that he was told only to talk about the drug, never to talk about any competition, not to talk very much about any side effects. Well, we don't think that's responsible, and it's, it's not the way we do media training. When we media train a spokesperson, let's say in healthcare, we have to do the equivalent of the healthcare five W's. The regular five W's, who, what, why, where, when. In healthcare, you have to ask, what's the condition? What are the symptoms? What are the current treatments? Why is this treatment, drug, device any better? And then, responsible communication says, you have to ask or answer the other questions, What's the cost, what are the side effects, and what are the contraindications? This article said the guy wasn't even told to be able to answer the question, are you a paid spokesperson? That's an easy question. You answer it by saying, if you are, yes, I'm being paid, compensated for my time. So there are right ways and wrong ways to do media training. We resent when it's attacked. We try and do it the right way.